It's a vibe. It's I don't a... know, dude. <laughs> it's not my vibe. <laughs> the SB140. And that's all I have to say. Oh, that's it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. All right, we have on a hardtail new house. Nice. This one's a little spicy. Phew. Oh, that was so sketchy. Showing off the new Trailcross LT. The name Propane. Uh, my original idea was to found a road racing brand. Shadley's women specific, so it's for women by women. Hey there, we're Mo and Hannah and we love riding bikes. Recently we went to the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival to ride some amazing trails and hang out with awesome people. The festival is filled with lots of cool brands and we got to see once again what makes the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival so special firsthand. What makes the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival so special? I think just everybody here that enjoys mountain bikes and is stoked to be here. Everyone's welcome. The stoke is high. There's all the brands here and just the energy in Sedona is awesome. So I love the riding in Sedona. That's the coolest. Athletes and larger than life characters that come down and interact with everybody. I think it's because it's the kickoff to the season. You know, most of us, especially where we are in the Northwest, we're, we're tired of snow and so we come for the sunshine. I mean, seriously, all you have to do is look around and look at the mountains and they're absolutely beautiful. Wrangling of cows and various livestock, uh, pigs and am aminals. The Sedona Mountain Bike Festival is so special because of the community that gathers around everything here. What makes it special is the people that put it on. The volunteers really put their heart and soul into putting on a festival. They help you with whatever you need. It's fun. It's like, I love it because it's like, it's everybody that rides our type of mountain bikes. Sedona Mountain Bike Festival is the first event, demo event of the year. So it's, you know, we're back into bike season. You go out on these trails during this festival and you'll run into so many new friends, so many old friends. The people by far. Like, it's amazing just to see everybody being excited about bikes. People riding, you know, a great location. Sedona is just such a special place for riding, especially for riding hardtails. They just fit in here so well. The Stoke is at an all-time high here. Well, the people first and foremost, uh, the, the guests, the vendors, uh, Mike Rainey, who puts the whole thing together. I mean, look around. This is the best event of the whole year. It's absolutely incredible. The Vortex is great weather, riding bikes in the middle of winter. The views. You can't beat them. The terrain here. Today, the community, it seems like everyone's super, super stoked to be riding out here. It's like really high energy. I mean, just getting everybody here. You know, there's just so many people here. You can check out all the booths. Amazing world-class trails that you get up into these landscapes, and it's amazing. The mixture of like how good the terrain is with how close it is to the festival grounds. Beautiful location. The trails are great. Vibes are good. The fact that these are really easygoing environment. It's fun to reconnect with folks and get out for rides, see everyone. Oh, that's my first time in Sedona, but uh, look around, the view is amazing. All of these vendors, big vendors, come out from all of these different places, and they uh, try to produce, you, uh, try to uh, intrigue you into buying all of these stuff, and there's all of these big bike brands. So fun, it's nice to get away from winter for a bit, see everybody, it's kind of the kickoff for me for the, uh, the beginning of the mountain bike season. Now, a, a bunch of things, a bunch of cool merch, and cool stuff for the bikes. Even demos, really nice. Um, bike racks. Um, they have a lot of things that I can't even imagine. Nice. Hey guys, Mike here. Welcome to the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. I think it means a lot of things to a lot of people. Um, I just wanted to make it something fun for people to come and experience what mountain biking is. My name is Ian Terry. I'm the editor of Freehub. Uh, we're a Freehub mountain bike magazine. Um, we're a quarterly mountain bike magazine based in Bellingham, Washington. This is our new issue that just came out last week. It's the Arkansas photo book. Every year, our first issue of the year is um, a regional uh, photo book that just focuses on one area specifically. What's up, guys? Sam here with Rocky Mountain Bicycles. We're here at the 2024 Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. The brand new 2024 Rocky Mountain Instinct. We've got 150 travel up front, 140 in the back. The updates that we have made include our Penalty Box 2.0 frame storage. Another update on this Instinct is that instead of Ride 9, we've gone with our Ride 4 geometry adjustment system. Hey, what's up? It's Cam Hoffman here with Pit Viper here at the Sedona Rodeo Festival. We need some tater tots for lunch. We're set up here showing off some new product that we're launching. The Sky Surfer. The Jet Hawk over here and the Claudia. Available on pitviper.com. Hey, my name's Ashley. I'm with Shredley, and we're here at the Sedona Mountain Bike Fest enjoying the sun, good weather, and sneak peeking our spring line. 
These are new colorways of our all-time pant. And if you want to come over here, view a sneak peek of something else, this is our best-selling chamois, and we have it in shimmer. Shudley's women-specific, so it's for women by women. Our sizes span double zero to 24, which is a little bit unusual. Um, and we make a lot of pieces like this romper that are really fun lifestyle pieces. So they're fun on the bike and off the bike. Hey, this is Nick Newhouse with Newhouse Metalworks. We're here at the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival. We've got our Hummingbird and Solstice models on display and available for demo this weekend. We utilize a lot of 3D printing um, to make sure that we're building a bike that is going to handle and perform the way our customers and, and riders expect. Uh, we have size-specific tubing, um, as well as 16 different sizes of mountain bikes available in two different models. Hey y'all, my name is Jason with 510. We're out here at the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival and we're showing off the new Trailcross LT. So redesigned from the previous version, but it still has stealth rubber on the outsole, dotty rubber, siping on the heel and toe to give you better grip hiking off the bike, ventilation up top, uh, high quality upper so it's gonna be, breathe well and last a long time. And these little sipes here are designed to drain water if you do a creek crossing, but they're also gonna flex if you are walking off the bike. What's up, this is Luke from Rigged. We're out here with a shared booth with Newhouse Metalworks showing off our Ramble Rack, our Ramble Swing, and also some really beautiful US made hardtails. So the Ramble Rack, really the magic sauce is the geometry of this symmetrical wheel tray with a vertical locking arm. It is the safest, strongest, most secure way to transport your bike, whether that's a really heavy e-bike um, or a super light hardtail. My name is David, I'm the founder and CEO of Propane. Uh, especially uh, based in Germany, but I'm now here in uh, the US. That's our newest version, that's the Ecano Carbon. Uh, we developed it together with SRAM, so that's the new drive train from SRAM. The name Propane, uh, my original idea was to found a road racing brand, because professional pain, the pain of your train, the pain in your legs, you get really familiar with the pain itself when you train for road racing. So that was the basic idea. Hey, we're with Revel Bikes. I'm Matt Hugenboom, our sales manager, and we've got the all new Revel Rascal here. A Little bit of changes to the previous generation. Of course, carbon layup makes it 20% stiffer, 150 grams lighter. Of course, we added SRAM UDH there to future proof. Hey, I'm Adam with Sand Udal Design, Winter Park, Colorado. Uh, we do handmade hip packs, mountain bike bags, and ski packs. Uh, we've got one of our hip packs here. You can customize all your colors online, pick the main panel, the bottom, the wings, and then it's all built to order and we'll ship it out to you. Hey everyone, I'm Bryce. I'm with here with Tailwind Nutrition. Uh, come try some, some Tailwind. We we're just coming out with a new product, Rapid Hydration. It's going to be an electrolyte focused mix, so you just mix it with water. It'll get you through the day for that lighter activity. What's up guys? It's Scott from Versus Tires. We're out here at the Sedona Mountain Bike Festival, our favorite festival. We have uh, some samples of our new tires coming out, the, uh, the Pink Keep Abreast Foundation collab, which is actually an official collab with them. It'll say versus Keep Abreast. $20 from each set goes back to Keep Abreast Foundation. And then we also have our limited edition teal tires, which the second round will be coming in about six weeks. What's up, it's Joey from Ari Bikes here, and we're here at Sedona Bike Fest just showing some new bikes. We shortened our name from Fazari to Ari, just focusing on kind of our ethos to be in the moment. So. That, that's why we did it and um, yeah, we're looking to grow internationally here soon as well. So this one is very much still in prototype phase. This is our pump track bike. Here is our new downhill bike um, and we have these on pre-order right now. Um, this downhill bike has a lot of different options and a lot of tunability, which is really cool. Hey guys, it's AJ from Crank Brothers. And today out here at Sedona, we're actually showing off the new Stamp Trail and the new Mallet Trail footwear from Crank Brothers. So the whole concept here is that we're offering a lighter weight trail shoe um, that is really prioritizing efficiency on the clip-in version. The BOA model and the lace models in both styles, flat and clip-in. Hey, what's up guys? I am Rob, I'm the sales director with Bird Spokes and we are here with our Hawk wheels with Bird Tail and Hubs. Um, Bird Spokes, are only 2.5 grams each, but wheels built with our spokes are stronger, 
and more durable than wheels built with metal spokes. All right, guys, so we are gonna ride the Hogs Trail out here in Sedona. We got a solid crew with us. Look how rad these shuttles are at the Sedona Fest. Bikes on the back, bikes up there. How are you feeling about riding bikes? Feeling great, let's do it. <laughs> I like your jersey choice, super subtle. Yeah, really subtle. We're just trying to blend in with nature out here. What's up you guys, hope you're enjoying today's video. I just wanna take a quick second and mention that Pit Viper just dropped their brand new high-speed off-road kits. Those are the kits that you guys have been seeing in this video, they are insane. The colors are awesome, the fit is insane as well. If you've never tried Pit Viper's mountain bike line, it really is high quality mountain bike apparel and it really flashy stand out way. Um, I do like that the pants this year are actually black because it's a little bit more subtle to go with that loud jersey. Honestly, you guys, the fit is incredible. And then it's also super stretchy as well. So it doesn't feel uncomfortable when you're out there riding on the trails. We use our discount code in the description of this video. It's a link, uh, the discount will actually apply. I check out to save 15% off your next order with Pit Vipers. Dave Bottomley and this is a Pivot Firebird. I'm Cram. I'm riding a Revel Rail 29. I'm Luke and I'm riding a Giant Trance. New House with New House Metalworks. I'm riding a Titanium Hummingbird Hardtail. I'm Hannah. I'm riding the SB140. And that's all I have to say. Oh, well, that's it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, no, no. We're having a pretty okay time. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> all right, so while we are going to ride Hogs Trail, we do want to look at the white line. They want to see it. First timers hiking up to the white line. Dave has his bike. <laughs> ah, the white line is the scariest trail in Sedona. <laughs> It's a vibe. It's I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's not my vibe. <laughs> How you feeling, Dave? You gotta go out and back. Uh, yeah, you go out, you roll down, and then you come back. What do you mean roll down? There's a, there's a, did you not see the roll? No. Oh yeah, there's just like a, it's like a, a rock roll right over there. It's coming through. Yeah, Dave. Nice, Dave. Yo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at that little round of applause you just got. Sick. That was insane. Keep it rolling and try not to pedal strike. And did a loop. Oh. A little scary, especially that drop in on the end, like my tail is kind of sliding a little bit, but have my rear brake lever today, so I was able to control it and turn around and get back. You're the president of Pit Viper. President of Pit Viper. That's, That's how we do it, full turbo, baby. Why you should buy those glasses. Yeah, right. <laughs> buy, buy, buy a million of them, full price. <laughs> you wanna go next? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> now, just out of curiosity, as someone who professionally builds amazing hardtails, what frame material would most likely survive that 700 foot cliff? <laughs> I don't think there's a material in existence that would survive that fall. <laughs> okay. Officially on high on the hogs. Probably my second favorite trail in Sedona. Okay, right down here. How loose is it today? Oh, it looks very loose. Oh, yep. Oh. Yeah, there's a little bit of dust on there. Nice, Hannah. Nice, Luke. Nice, Dave. All right, we have on a hardtail new house. Nice. No suspension needed. We have Cam, the one and only, coming down. Nice, Cam. Hell yeah. Was that easier or hard in the white line? Uh, I, I did find out I had a little too much tire pressure in there, so <laughs> oh, not, yeah. so I don't skid as much. <laughs> you got Dave coming down. Nice. Uh, steep. And yeah, I just tried to control my speed and let go of the brakes at the end and let the flat land and soak it up. With the woos a little bit of a slab climb, rock slab climb. <laughs> Drop the gears. How's your bike been climbing? So good. It climbs like a rocket. Oh, I don't apparently. <laughs> wow, Mo. It's just such a fast bike. Sometimes it does get a little bit ahead of me, like when we're riding Gem Trail in Tucson. Just, you know, on slow tech, I feel like it's really hard to control my speed, but I'm getting adjusted. All right, let's try this one. They get slow. Don't slide. Oh my god, nice job. Phew. Nice. 
Ooh, watch that rock. Oh, nice. It's pretty smooth. This one's a little spicy. Wow. Ooh. Oh, that was so sketchy. Yeah. Okay, I'm leading the way. <laughs> Ooh. At least you're lined up better than me. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. Hi. Uh, yeah, why am I on a bike right now? <laughs> Ooh, so far, so good. Bike stream is amazing. Oh, drop. Oh, yeah. You can go super slow. Hi, Santa. I tried going really slow. Awesome. The bike, it handled well. Oh, you like I it? I felt really in control falling over right now, but it felt good. That's sick. Thank you, Sedona, for having us. It's beautiful here. We love you. Uh, we'll be back next year with Mo and Hannah doing tons of cool giveaways. Go check out awesomemtb.com and, nice. and, yes. and pitviper.com. <laughs>